hi guys and welcome to Delphi multiplication timetable tutorial so let me show you how this works I am going to reset and as you can see the cursor is right there let's enter another number to be multiplied there reset enter a 4 reset again maybe enter 5 multiply reset enter 4 again reset and so on that is how it works so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into delphi development environment and we put one of these together and let's exit out yeah so let's come in here we can go straight to the file and let's select new project select window cl application and click on yes save the projects I'm going to give it a name and just call it times table and save that there we go let's just drag the form that much and I will now add t-edit grab that drop that there let's add a t-label t-label I need I'm going to need to move those copy that and just paste it right somewhere here okay then I need T buttons so I'm going to need three of those one two and three there we go I also need T list list box right there and here yeah, this very label I'm going to change that change the content of that to multiplication times table there we go and let's increase the font size of that or well, let's select it all and just increase the font size of the whole component right and I'm just going to make it all 48 there and this very one move this up but this zero one I'm gonna make that bold come back here and change that to bold right and this one let's reduce this to about 36 there we go now in here I'm just gonna enter enter a number alright and these buttons let's change them all around move this down this one is going to be known as multiply change the caption to multiply right and I'm going to change this one to reset and so on exit there alright I've finished with that so let's just run it and see how the interface looks for now there we go that's how it's looking so I'm gonna exit out now this very button let's double click on this button double click on it and I intend to use uh, a Y loop but first of all let's declare a variable I comma Q and those two variables I'm going to assign an integer data type to them there and right underneath here underneath the begin let's just enter i equals one there okay and we then say y I is less than 13 I want you to do as follows let's begin begin what about Q Q equals whatever I have inside our text box so text 
to integer and the text box is called txt entry dot text close that so you have to add some value in there so the the list box that's lst display dot items dot add and what am i adding i'm adding let's say i'm adding i so in this case i will just give me one to one to twelve all right so i'm going to comment this out let's comment that out and just try that and you guys will see what will happen but then we need to come down here and just say increment i else you end up with an error okay close that and here close that as well int to string right else there will be an error so let's try that out i'm going to minimize this all right this is just the lines of code that we generate 1 to 12 we'll run it and let's see let's click on the multiplier and that's it 1 to 12. now what i want to try and achieve is when it whenever we enter whatever value in here the system will tell you the multiplication timetable so in here i'm going to say plus and apostrophe let's enter multiply space plus and now want to enter int to yeah int to string and enter the queue and i'm going to repeat exactly the same thing uh, i can just copy all of this copy this and just paste it right here there and this one i'm going to change that to equals y in here i'm going to say i multiply by q and i think that's it so let's close this so that you guys can see what that is it okay so that is i 1 to 12 will be generated whatever value you enter inside q that is your idea equals will be displayed and both number then multiply together so let's run it and see save it and just run i'm going to call that mult multiply that's fine save right now let's run it run okay we have two errors let's see what was the error right you see right here i was meant to enter column there and let's run it again it's coming up there we go now enter whatever value in here there we go so we need to take care of the clear you see that so enter 11 there okay so i want you to restart so let's come straight into the design view here double click on reset and in there i'm just gonna say txt entry dot let's say clear txt equals there we go play and lst display dot items dot clear now you see this txt this uh, i'm going to ask it to dot set focus on that once i reset there we go there that is fine okay let's do one more thing go straight to the design that will click on exit uh, we can just enter in the application dot terminate there we go 
there. So I'm going to run my program now. Enter whatever value, 7, reset, 8, reset, we can enter 12, there. And that is how you create your own multiplication timetable in Delphi. Take a good look at the lines of codes. Those are the lines of codes. Very simple. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. Bye for now.